Hey everyone, my name is Brugley, and today I want to talk to you about a backrooms entity that I just came up with called Entity 832. I was laying in my bed about to go to sleep the other night when this idea just came to me. It was literally like a vision, so I hope you enjoy it. It turned out pretty well on paper, and if it's good enough, I might write an official description and submit it to the Wikidot, but who knows, I might not. But for now, enjoy the video on Entity 832. So this entity, like I just said, is called Entity 832, aka Pinhead. It's called Pinhead because it sort of resembles the shape of a bowling pin. It's believed that there is only actually one entity that can somehow project itself to different places but that's not confirmed. Entity 832 can only appear on odd numbered levels. So levels like one, three, and five, and so on. And even then, it's just a 16.7590% chance of it actually showing up and making itself known. And you better hope it doesn't. Pinhead appears to you when you fall asleep on the floor of an odd level, but only the floor. And when it does appear to you, you'll start to lucid dream, which is where you can control where your character or yourself is moving, and you know you're in a dream, but you can't stop it. And the only way to stop this dream is by falling asleep in the dream. More on that later. Pinhead somehow transports you to a reality in this lucid dream, and this reality is your house from real life. It's literally like a live video feed of reality. You can see everyone in your own life that's just going about their daily lives at home and outside, but they can't see you because you're just invisible. You can't interact with any objects, you just float around. But it is confirmed that the reality you see is the real world. You're actually there, you're just invisible to everybody. And Pinhead sent you here. Now this feeling of being trapped back in the quote unquote real world is really addicting to some people because it's reality and they try to stay in this dream forever which is just what pinhead wants because people can like this dream so much that their real body that's in the back rooms is dreaming ends up being neglected because they're asleep so your body itself can wither away and you can unalive from starvation inside the dream itself Pinhead walks around and torments you the entire time you're in reality. He insults you and he says stuff like, You've always been invisible. You're so far away. They don't even miss you. And other lame things like that. Pinhead also will try to jump scare you and scare you and talk you out of falling asleep in the dream, which is how you exit that dream. So every time you're about to fall asleep, Pinhead will try to jump in front of you or wake you up some way. You just have to ignore him to go back to normal sleep. There's been two instances where Pinhead has physically been in the back rooms with people, and those two people are no longer with us. Both of them were eaten by Pinhead, and all that was left was their heads. It's thought that those two people stayed in their fake dream that was reality for too long, and they ended up being too weak to escape Pinhead's attack in real life. So two out of eight total encounters with Pinhead have ended in unaliving, while the other six have lived through it, but each of them have certain mental issues from seeing reality but not being able to interact with it or seeing someone they love and not being able to talk to them. So Pinhead's entire twisted goal is to appear in your head right as you fall asleep on an odd numbered level. If he appears to you in your head, he'll make you dream about the real world. This dream isn't really a dream because it's real. He literally sends you to reality, just as an invisible person. And the entire time you're there, he keeps trying to scare you and make you stay longer so your real body in the back rooms will weaken enough for him to teleport out of the dream and then attack you and eat you. And you would be too weak to fight back. That's absolutely terrifying. The six survivors say that they left the dream by finding a room in their house with lots of windows inside and sleeping in it. Apparently, Pinhead doesn't like bright lights. 
and when they fell asleep in the dream, they were sent back to normal sleeping, which they then woke up from on the level they went to sleep on. And apparently Pinhead will not attack if you aren't deteriorated enough, so if you manage to wake up, he won't attack you. Now this might mean that he's too small or not strong enough to unalive a healthy person, but no one knows the real reason. All that's known is that the two people who were gone were probably deteriorated and malnourished from staying in the dream for too long. Also, you should definitely avoid sleeping on the floor of any odd-numbered level because you got a 16.7% chance of having Pinhead appear in your head and forcing you to dream about reality and trying to keep you there. It takes a lot of mental willpower to be able to fall asleep in the dream and to drift back into normal sleep, which is why Pinhead himself will try to scare you so much. So now, I'm gonna summarize Pinhead in as simple terms as possible. Pinhead is an entity that appears in your head when you fall asleep on an odd numbered level in the back rooms if you're sleeping on the floor. When he appears in your head, he will then transport your consciousness to a live view of reality, the real world. And you will be stuck in this real world view until you can manage to fall asleep in the dream. It's kind of like a paradox. You have to fall asleep while you're already asleep. Pinhead's entire goal is to keep you dreaming for so long that your real body starts to get malnourished and underfed, so then you'll just start withering away. And when this happens to his liking, he'll teleport out of the dream to the actual backrooms level that you're in, and he'll attack you, and you'll be too weak to fight him off. And he keeps you in this dream for longer by jump scaring you or making fun of you to the point where you can't fall asleep. So in order to evade him, you just have to fall asleep and then you go back to your normal sleep and he will leave you alone because he'll consider you too mentally strong to attack. Make sense? But yeah, that was my first custom entity that I've ever thought about or written down. I got some inspiration from another entity on the wiki dot that appears in your dreams. I forgot his name. But Pinhead is way different besides just appearing in your dreams. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your support on the channel and on Brugly Summer Spectacular so far. I really appreciate all you're doing. Still, there's so much more content coming out. I have so much stuff in the works. It's going to be awesome. The return of the fan-made level series should be out in a few days, so I hope you're hyped for that. If you are, leave a like. And a non-backrooms video will be popping out soon too, so give that one a chance when it comes out. I absolutely cannot wait for the rest of Brugly Summer Spectacular and to make the rest of the videos. I hope y'all are excited too. Check out the description for any links you might want, like Discord, wink wink, or a link to my second channel, where I'm uploading some great fun stuff, gaming videos, rants, IRL videos, just more of me guys. I'm aiming to get 50k by the end of the year, so if you want to help me out, drop a sub. Also check out the description for a link to a playlist on other Backrooms entities that I've gone over on the channel if you want to watch some more. But yeah, thank you for watching the video and supporting me, and thank you all for this opportunity. I will see you in the next video, I hope you enjoyed Pinhead.